In these problems, we're multiplying. And we have a bunch of numbers to multiply, and there may be one or more negative signs. And we're also going to talk about one of the properties of multiplication, the commutative property. But let's take these one at a time. The first problem here says multiply 7 times 7 times 5 times 2, and there's one negative sign. Just as a, a refresher, uh, when you're multiplying or dividing things, if you have an odd number of negative signs, the answer is going to be negative. If you have an even number of negative signs, the answer is going to be positive. Here we have 1. That's an odd number. So I know my answer is going to be negative. So I know that much so far. And the rest of this, well, we could pull out our calculator. But you can probably do this in your head pretty easily. 5 times 2 is 10. 7 times 7 is 49. 49 times 10 would be 490. So this whole thing is a negative 490. All right, let's try another one. So this one's got, let's count the negative signs first. 1, 2, 3. That's an odd number again, so this is also going to be negative. And then we've got 9 and 5 and 6 and negative 3. I think I'm going to group these in a way where it's easiest to multiply. 5 times 6 is 30, and 9 times 3 is 27. So we have 27 times 30. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 times 0. Well, I got to put another 0. And 2 times 3 is 6. So we get 810. You'll notice that I decided to multiply these two first and then multiply them by these two. That's an example of using the commutative property. The commutative property says it doesn't matter what order you multiply stuff in. Negative 1 times a negative 5 is the same thing as negative 5 times a negative 1. The order doesn't matter. Let's look at one more problem about the commutative property. This one says one of the following uses the commutative property to make it easier to find the value of 6 times 2 times 5 times 5. Only one statement is true. Which is it? Well, if I were doing this problem in my head, I would probably group these two together because 2 times 5 is 10. And then 6 times 5 is 30. So this is 10 times 30. That's going to be 300. So there, I just used the commutative property to realize this is 300. As I look at these answers, well, two of them say it comes out to 305. This one says uh, less than. Uh, that just seems weird. But the, the answer is wrong anyway, 305. So I think it's got to be one of these two. And in this case, um, we have a less than 300. Um, that's not true. This actually equals 300. So it's got to be this one. So that's a little bit of work with multiplication.